Hey y'all, welcome to Motor Ramblings. I'm Patrick. Today I'm riding Copper, my 2012 Suzuki V-Strom. I am out waiting for Mitchell. We're gonna take a ride and we're gonna talk a little bit about the issues with the Goldwing. All right, folks, so we're back and Mitchell is behind me. Say hey, Mitchell. Hello. What the hell was that? <laughs> the distinguished hello. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, anyway, in this video, because I have Mitchell with me, and he was with me on the fateful afternoon accident, I wanted to talk to y'all about the aftermath of the accident. And... Mitchell, what was the first thing we did after... Oh, debris in the middle. First thing we did after I uh, realized I wasn't dead. Uh, pick the bike up? Yep. And then you took off to go I get, the, get the truck. Which, I don't know. Obviously, I hit my head harder than I thought because I should have known right from the beginning that there was no way we were getting that bike up on the truck. But, anyway, you went got the truck how'd that go I mean that was all right yeah <laughs> I was rushing for sure to try to get to the house mm -hmm. you know get the truck okay I mean not admission of guilt or anything but you know I mean cars were zooming by me Unless you want to put that vice versa. <laughs> it depends on how you look at it. Yeah, that's it, yeah. They were zooming past me backwards, which I thought was really weird. It, that is really weird. Yeah. Super weird. Hmm. Anyways, got the truck and then turned it into like a rally truck going down that road. All right, well, tell them, tell the viewers what kind of truck that is that you turned into a high-speed rally truck. <laughs> it's a, it's not an extended cab, is it? Yeah. Is it? Okay. Not the King Cab, because no, that's no. a really big one. So it's an extended cab, F-250, with a long bed, two-wheel drive. Super duty diesel. Yeah. Yep, with that, like you said, with that long bed. So you were you were hauling that on some nasty, twisty, fun motorcycle road. And yep. you, you were treating it like a rally car. <laughs> the, the tires were warm <laughs> after a while okay. you, know, you could smell them whenever I came to a stop by you mm -hmm. and so you brought the ramps as well we never got a hold of Roger because we were going to try to get a hold of him to come help us put the bike up on the truck but I had no cell service and you didn't know that so yeah. nobody, nobody got a hold of Roger so you and I did try we rolled the bike down some guy's driveway because it was fairly steep and we thought maybe you and I could actually roll this up onto the truck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we actually got it up the ramp and unfortunately the belly pan of the Goldwing hit and we couldn't get it up into the truck. Um, so at that point we had to leave the bike where it was in that guy's driveway and we went into Marshall and we called AAA. And what happened with AAA? Couldn't get through for a while. Mm -hmm. And then I think when we finally went through, they like had somebody but then couldn't do it or something like that. And then they said it'd take like a couple of hours and they never got back to you. Mm -hmm. And then finally, whenever we had called Roger and then he called Ronnie and them, had that idea that's whenever they finally got back to you saying it was going to be another like hour and a half right and we were only like 20 minutes away about <laughs> to have more people yep so while we were waiting for AAA to let us know about when they were going to be there I kept getting texts saying we're way behind we're way behind are you okay lady you okay uh -huh. should we stop I mean, it looks like she's on her phone Hmm. All right, so I kept getting text messages from AAA saying, we don't know how long it's going to be. We are way behind. So when we were in Marshall and we had cell service, I called Roger, told him what had happened. Wasn't asking him to come out and help or anything. I just told him, hey, this is what's going on. I'm waiting on AAA. 
well, Roger being Roger, he came out and he met us and just checked on me, made sure I wasn't, you know, overlooking any injuries. And then at his suggestion, we called Ed from the Beer City Blazers. And, and it's getting to be what, 11 o'clock at night now? I think at that time it was like around 10, 10.30. Okay. And so got a hold of Ed and told him what had happened. Well, Ed called Ronnie. Now, Ed and Ronnie both had been, later on they told us, they were both nearing getting ready for bed. <laughs> it was late at night for them and um, it was a Saturday night. But anyway, next thing I know, Ed calls me and says, hey, Ronnie and I are on our way with the trailer. So after a while, the whole group of us got into two vehicles. You were with Roger, correct? Yeah. And I got in with um, Ronnie driving and Ed in the car with us. We went to the driveway and the guy that lives there, he came out and he was super nice. He used to ride or did ride or still rode, talking about motorcycles and the whole bit. Anyway, we got between us all and a whole lot of straps, <laughs> we got the bike loaded onto Ronnie's trailer. Barely. Yeah, it barely fit. It barely it's a big fit. bike. Yeah. And so then we strapped it down. Now's where you come in and tell your part of the story from your and Roger's perspective behind Ronnie driving. Uh, Ronnie, I mean, we're talking about a truck and a rally car, and Ronnie was, you know, a little, it's a small Land Rover. I don't even know what model it is. It's not your typical, like, Discovery or anything, but a smaller little Land Rover, little trailer behind it, big ass gold wing on the back. And he's flying through these points. <laughs> I mean, like, I think at one point, we we're going through basically switchbacks, and he's doing like 40, 50 miles an hour, and Roger is trying to keep up, and he's like, ah, dang. <laughs> yep. I mean, I appreciate it look, more than they will ever know. But yeah, that, that scared me a little bit. I was going to say, that road going how he was taking it, I'll give him credit. He drove the puss out of it. He yeah, did. Nothing happened, thank God, but whoo! Yep. That was <laughs> a little <laughs> sketchy looking from behind. Yeah, well, and the trailer itself, you know, it wasn't a new trailer by any means. No. <laughs> I was I was in the car with Ronnie and I'm like stomping on the floorboard. <laughs> well, I, me and Roger were talking while we were behind, we we're like, so how long do you think it is until he's shitting his pants in that car right there? <laughs> yep. I I was nervous. <laughs> no, sure. I would have been but, nervous too. But but Ronnie did an amazing job. He got the bike to the house and uh, you know, despite all the nerves and him driving the way he was. Uh, but, the, you know, those guys came out and, I mean, we didn't get home till almost 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, it was really, really late. Yeah, and, but those guys just out of the blue dropped everything and came to rescue me, which was awesome. And that was kind of the whole point of this video. I just wanted to talk about the fact that you see it with the motorcycle community all the time, but that was a you know, big time firsthand experience for me. And for that to go the way it did, for those guys to come out and expect nothing in return. Ah, just, just incredible. Absolutely incredible. So anyway, folks, the motorcycle community is awesome. Be a part of it, be a positive part of it. And uh, help each other out because you never know when it's gonna be your turn to need the help. I feel like whenever I broke my car about two, Roger and Kay came out out here the 209. Yep. yep. That's a good drive. It is a good drive. And that was just to help you load up the bike pretty much. Yep. Yeah, because again, I called Roger and I said, hey look, Mitchell wrecked. He broke his collarbone and he's not going to be able to help me push the bike up into the truck. I don't know if I can do it myself. And Roger, he was actually with his wife Kay, 
he just dropped everything they rode out that real twisty mountain road the road we're about to get on as a matter of fact yeah and he uh came out and helped me get the bike up onto the truck so that we could get you to the emergency room anyway folks thanks so much for watching i hope everyone can stay well stay safe most of all be happy stay happy y'all motor ramblings up see ya